Hi, welcome to this typical Muley production video. Today's video is a special one. It's about my elk hunt this year, and I drew an Idaho controlled hunt, and so with a rifle, which is awesome. Um, great experience. It allowed me to to hunt elk in October uh, with a rifle, which is awesome. And uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the scouting period, preseason, uh, a little bit about my archery or my brother's archery hunt, and then about my rifle hunt. Um, so let's get started. So these are some of the trail camera pictures I got during the summer scouting period and also the fall hunting period um, of, of bulls and other elk. Uh, enjoy. Preseason. These are some of the videos that I caught during the preseason, and this current video here is of a calf elk that me and my wife saw um, while we were out and about. Um, cute little thing, not very old. Probably you know, no more than a couple days old, if not a day old. Uh, just laying down, trying to hide. Mama was around, but she was. She was off in the distance just observing. And so this was just a cool experience. This is a couple of bulls during June, you know, early growth period. One bull's kind of funky. He's got some funky antlers going on and the other one uh, just hasn't grown out that much, but cool bulls. The next two clips are of elk that I saw in the area where I shot my bull um, during the preseason. Um, the second clip, there's a decent bull in there, just a young bull. Uh, you know, a, a nice little five point. Cool bull though.
This clip is of elk that I scouted out in the back country. I decided to go in the back country see what I could find back there. Um, so this area is pretty roadless, pretty remote. And uh, I, I saw a nice buck that evening and I saw these elk come out. And this is the only group of elk I, I saw come out in this basin, but just some cool footage. Archer season. This is a calf elk on opening day walking five yards from my brother. A cool experience. We had cow elk calling all around us. We saw five or six other cows as well. Just awesome experience. This spike elk came into this water hole on September 1st. Um, I was by myself on this occasion. My brother was out of town with his family on vacation but so he missed out but I was here uh, looking for some bucks that I knew were in the area but they didn't show up this evening but uh, this was just a cool experience with this spike he came to within like 20 yards um, just cool watching him him in the water here This is a nice bull we caught up to on the last day of archery season, September 30th, and we were just a day late, dollar short, you know, the usual, but I was excited because my hunt starts the next day, and this bull was actually not too far from where I shot my bull, only like 300 yards from where I shot my bull, so this is a cool sequence, enjoy. rifle hunt this is a bull I saw during the rifle hunt up on a ridge he was a little too far out of range um, that's why the footage is a little grainy but nice bull uh, pretty big five point um, I don't know if I if I would have shot this bull at this time in the season it's pretty early in the season but a nice bull this is a bull that uh, I caught coming out of a hay field one morning and he was actually with a bunch of elk. He's with probably 40 or 50 other elk. There were four or five bulls in this group. A couple raghorns, him, and another herd bull that was just an old warrior five point. This bull here is kind of young. I think he's a five by six, but he's got potential. Just a beautiful elk. Enjoy the clips. Nice. So, this is about uh, the morning that I shot my elk. Um, in this area that I hunt, uh, if they're not bugling there, you might as well just pack it up and not go there. So, 
first thing in the morning I stopped in my truck and listened to see if I heard any bugles coming from the area I wanted to go and uh, I sat there heard heard a bugle from down where I wanted to wanted to hear the bugles from so I got out of my truck used my headlamp to get back into where I wanted to um, I kind of knew the path the elk liked to take in the morning so I knew kind of where they were going so I hiked there and just as I got there, there was uh, some cow, some cow elk walking out in the open in front of me, and kind of behind them there was a couple bulls. And before I could get into good shooting position, the bulls uh, got to a spot where I couldn't shoot them. But there was a group of cows out in front of me that stayed out in front of me about 150 yards away, and I knew as long as those cows stayed there. Uh, one of those bulls had come back. And so I sat there and got into decent position. And then the bull, the one bull that I ended up shooting, he chased off the other bull. Plus another bull came down and he chased off that one. And it was an awesome experience. They were bugling like crazy, runting like crazy. And then there were more elk bugling further up the drainage. And this bull did not want his cows going up there. So he was bird dogging these cows, keeping them away from going up the hill. And so I kind of knew he was, he was going to stay there with these cows that were out in front of me. And so I watched him for like 45 minutes. It was an awesome experience. He was bugling like crazy. Like I said, he was chasing those cows around, cutting them like a cutting horse. It was really cool. And eventually his cows kind of had enough and they decided to walk back the direction that that I could shoot him in and so he he came in that direction he got about 150 to 175 yards away and I shot once with my 300 Weatherby and he took a few steps and tipped over and yeah it was amazing and then after he tipped over his cows took off and they didn't go very far and then a bunch more elk came out and joined his cows and they're all up in the hill and it, elk were still bugling just an awesome experience I couldn't ask for anything more um, great experience and here's the video a short clip video of that bull um, why he was out rutting and I was watching him and I wish I would have got more video but I didn't I didn't want to keep taking my camera out of its clip and taking it out, putting it back in, that kind of thing. Because like I said, those cow elk were only 150 yards away. So I didn't want them to see me or hear me. So, yeah, so here's a short clip of, of him out there rutting those cows. This beautiful bull was harvested on October 10th, 2024, and I want to give respect and honor to this animal for his life, for his sacrifice, for the beauty and majesty he brought to this world. And if there's an afterlife, I hope he's there with a big old herd of cows bugling his head off. 
and much respect. Thanks for watching that video. Uh, it's a pretty awesome experience for me. Um, probably my most favorite hunting experience. Uh, nice bull, you know, nice six point. Uh, too bad he had the broken fourth, but hey, that's why he's called Bully. He liked to fight, chasing off other bulls, um, keeping his harem. And uh, I'd like to give a special thanks to all those people who helped me out after I got this bull down. Um, to my brother and uh, to his brother-in-law and to my co-worker. I'd like to thank him for helping me out. Um, it's a great experience. And remember to live in the moment, enjoy the memories. Thanks for watching.